Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, so shit. That's what I'm trying to do uh, for the next year. I got some plans, but I really don't want to be working in circles, you know. Right, right, right. So yeah, I get it. I get it. So, so yeah, so uh, so shoot it to me, brother. What what kind of what kind of question you got for me right now? So uh, basically, I got the brand. You know, I got the Thrill House Collective, and uh, I have been putting out. both you know what i'm saying it depends on your model and like the amount of like the time you have you know you know yourself more than anybody else so you know whether or not you're gonna have time space you know because that that's that's where i think a lot of people you know uh experience more of this log jam so to speak uh is you know, creating the clothes, you know what I'm saying? You did a great job of branding it. You got the photo shoots, the pages popping. Now we didn't take, we didn't anticipate what happened if we get a hundred orders, you know? Uh, you know, what happens, you know what I'm saying? How am I going to, what's my system in order to get these products to the people in time? Uh, what if they want a motherfucker, uh, 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 like do a return, you know, like, do I have a, uh, you know, a one eight hundred number or email or a chat system where people can contact me and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So it, it kind of depends on like you, the staff you have. Like if it's just you, you know, like if you know you're not able to, um, you don't have the capital to be able to uh, have you know fifty shirts there. You know what I mean? Like I, I may just be in a position where I don't. I, I'm just starting up. I don't have the money to get go print out 50 shirts for this design uh plus like i said I, I always encourage people to keep a limited amount because uh it's better to sell out than to have to fulfill orders you know what i'm saying right. so so you guys got to you got like your model is going to depend on you like the printful like there's obviously store things like printful uh printify are you on any of those yet yeah see that's where we at now um I got the Shopify website, you know what I mean? I got uh, I got it uh, partially set up. But the things that they offer aren't, uh, aren't what I'm selling, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I, I don't know if print pool, you know, print pool ain't, ain't, finna, ain't finna embroider no letters. Right. Not about to, you know what I'm saying? They're not about to give me the gear that I want, that I'm trying, that I'm trying to, the quality that I'm trying to have, you know, we can we can have that. That's cool, right? But, you know, phone cases and and that uh, when you talk sublimation uh, clothes, that's cool. But you know, that's that's kind of average. I mean, everybody can do that. I want to have. I don't. I don't. I don't know if it's the possibility that I can incorporate the style that I want to have with those with those companies that can just do that. Right. And so that's the reason why I don't do it. You get it? Um, because number one, like I said, if you know, when you do like a print for or printify, 
you should always get a sample of whatever you get made to you. You know what I mean? So if you carry a lot of shit, that's a lot of samples that you got to get made. <coughs> um, which, I mean, that isn't necessarily a problem, but like I said, just you can't, um, the quality control, you can't, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then the, uh, like I said, for me, you know, like one of the things I started doing was swapping the strings on my hoodie, right? Well, Printful ain't about to do that. You know what I mean? So, right. so that, that's where it's more like there's different things you could do. What I, what I would do is like a, um, what I would do, start doing is more of a, a pre-sale. You know what I'm saying? A pre-sale? A pre-sale. A pre I, I, would print, I would print one. I would print one or two or, or you know what I mean? Just enough to, for my models, for me, whatever. My, you know what I'm saying? I'll promote. I will be like, look. I got this letterman right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 gonna release it in 30 days. I'm giving everyone an opportunity if they do it on a pre-sale. Let's just say I'm giving you even numbers. Let's say, you know, I'm putting it out for for 150, but if you buy it on a pre-sale, it's only 120, right? right? You get what I'm saying? That way you can get, right. you know, what I mean, you can kind of see. Okay, sometimes the shit might be like, man, I ain't getting no fucking orders and shit. You know what I'm saying? I dodged the bullet, damn near. You know what I mean? Because, you know what I'm saying, it's better to do that than to go ahead and go buy 50 jackets and realize, see, the thing is, one of the most dangerous things for brands like myself and yours is we don't have a Ross, we don't have an outlet, we don't have a, a fucking store we can sell it off to and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, Macy's or some shit like that, they don't sell that shit, you know what I mean, they can get rid of it, they got a million ways, that, you know what I mean, they can get rid of it, you know what I'm saying, us... We stuck with that shit. If I get, especially that's why seasonal drops are very dangerous. Like if I go get a hundred Christmas shirts printed and I sell ten of them, I got ninety. You know what I'm saying? And then the chances of motherfuckers want to buy that shit because they already seen it, or the chances because it's like you know shit changes so fast. Like man, that design ain't even in no more. You know what I'm saying? Or now, now you're bringing the value of your brand down because you like, man, I'm blowing these motherfuckers out twenty dollars. They like, you know what I mean? The perception is like, damn, there ain't no value in that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so let me ask you. So, so, how much? So, what what model are you using right now? So, uh, basically, it 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 sounds like a like a pre order, like a pre sale type of situation. That's how I'm doing it. I gotta take. Uh, what kind of what kind of products are you I carrying? Gotta, What'd you say? What kind of products are you carrying? Um, uh, what kind of products I got? Letterman's. And really what I have is I got a print, um, uh, <coughs> press and I can print up, um, uh, my own personal, uh, merch and whatever else they want. But if I come out with something special like these Letterman, then I'll do pre-orders. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. And, uh, so and it, it, it works okay. It works okay. But, you know, uh, there's, like you said, you don't anticipate it being a whole bunch of people trying to fuck with it. So now I got this, I got this company that I'm rocking with, and if motherfuckers want orders, I got to do it a certain type of way. So, so let me ask you a question. What, like, what do you say? Like, what is your biggest issue? Like, what, you know, what I'm saying, like, what do you think is like your biggest issue? The reason, like, the, what really kind of prompted you to make the call to where, like, I mean, overall, you probably just wanted a bunch of general knowledge, but, like, <coughs> is it, like, is it shipping time? Is it uh, capital, being able to carry that much? Is it uh, not having the amount of people to be able to fulfill the orders? Like, where do you feel like your biggest, like, uh, your biggest hiccup or, you know what I'm saying, log jam, I would say? My uh my my biggest my biggest hang up was I was trying to see if it was a, what the possibility is because I know you got a website and right. but I don't know if you and I know you know it doesn't look like you do the printify you know the Shopify uh with the you know with the basic stuff you you get out there you take the pictures of your merch and it's something unique. You know what I mean? And I have that type of energy with my stuff. Like, okay. I don't really have a lot of stuff that people can be like, oh, yeah, but he got that, too. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Right. But see, okay, so let me, let me, let me, I don't mean to cut you off. So let me, let me give you, let me tell you, give you some, a jewel real quick, because this is even something that I struggle with. And it's actually kind of like wanting, 
you know, like, because we can get into this design thing, like, it's points for us, like, man, I want to design tuxedos, man, I want to design all these different things, you know what I'm saying, but I'm not there yet, right, you get what I'm saying, and so, and so, I have to get back to the business part, like, what are, what products are going to make me the most money right now, so I can have more capital to be able to go ahead and do these things, like the Letterman jackets and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And for the most part, if you really if you really want to be base it down, it's t-shirts. T -sh t-shirts are the most profitable thing that any brand could carry. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that it's a low cost to make. But it's not as sexy, right? You know what I'm saying? Because you might be looking at other brands and be like, man. It ain't the one it is, but it ain't the Okay, but but it is though because you can spend a hundred dollars on t-shirts. Let's say you get t-shirts for two dollars, three dollars. You know what I'm saying? With a hundred dollars, you can get a lot of fucking t-shirts. Let's just say total cost to make the t-shirt is ten dollars. You know what I'm saying? You know, five hundred dollars, you got what fifty t-shirts, right? You get what I'm saying? Now, the pro the profit, the profit on those t-shirts. Now, if you actually, you feel me? Look at the profit on those t-shirts. Let's say, you know, and this is where honestly a lot of people fuck up because they're not. Like for me, for I, I feel like for brands like me and you, like one of our biggest downfalls is we didn't have no other model besides Nike and all these other brands. So we're kind of like trying to model ourselves after. That's how that's I mean, I just being transparent. That was me. Like, I felt like I had to be able to compete with them in terms of sell products, the same price, be able to deliver the same um, quality as well as the uh, the amount of clothes when it's like, nah. Right now, look, if you come out with one dope-ass shirt, you feel what I'm saying? You come out with one dope-ass shirt, and you focus on that and market that, you can make a lot of money. You get what I'm saying? And then that gives you an opportunity to go be able to do these other things that you need to be able to do, which is eventually you're going to have to hire staff and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know what I mean? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Get people to be able to pay people for like the modeling, $50 here, there, $100 here, there, too, you know, or... You know, be able to uh, help, have people come help you pack. Because we don't think about scaling shit up, man. You feel me? Like, the t-shirt thing might be easier to scale up. Because I know where I can get these t-shirts. I know, you know what I'm saying? Right now, okay, boom. Let's just, motherfucker, what if, what if you got, what if your shit really hit, nigga, and you got 10,000 orders right now? You'd be fucked. You'd be fucked right now. Because you're like, damn, I don't even know if I can get 10,000 Letterman jackets. And the price, the you know what I'm saying? You feel me? And then motherfuckers be like, I want this shit. Yeah, like, motherfuckers don't, what if you succeed? What if that shit go viral crazy? Like, because I, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? That's why it's, like, important just to grow that shit. Like, okay, grow that shit. Like, boom, I could probably, I can handle 10,000 t-shirts faster than I can handle 10,000 Letterman jackets. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, because I know where to get these t-shirts. I can get that shit. Or, you know what I mean? Like, you know? Like I'm saying, I'm saying ten thousand, but that literally could happen though. You feel me? So it's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm scared. You ain't lying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like I would love to 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 like I think I like I started doing this thing like a couple months ago, and I was like, man, I don't know if I want to do it. Like I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do it. For the trial and error, I kind of just stick with what I got when it's good. And, um, like, I, but I've been doing this for a couple of years now, and I want to upgrade. I would love to uh, do better with this. You know, I want to make sure that I can uh, get these things dialed in, you know. Bro, uh, let me just tell you something, bro. I am in. Doing other stuff. Yeah, nah, it's going to take time, bro. You got to realize, like. Yeah. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. This for, I was by my, we started it maybe like six years ago. And okay. I honestly been rocking this shit, knocking it out by myself for the last four. Right. So, uh, you know, plus, you know, taking care of business, holding down the house, taking care of my mama and shit. You know what I mean? Like, right. we, we've been making, making strides. So. <coughs> right. Just uh, play by play. And that's good, man. I tip my hat to you because, yeah, no, I tip my hat to you, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, I I look at it like it's a 10-year plan for me. Like, 
I feel like if you can't even do something for 10 years, because like, what if it don't become successful? Like I'm, you know, like it's what, you know, it's successful is a relative term, but like for me, like, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of us are, you know, like social media can kind of ruin things, bro. Cause it'll kind of like get you oh, off. Man, you know what I'm saying? Devil, yeah. You'll be seeing other people. Like I do it all the time too. Like, you, you know what I mean? And you'll become in like a comp competition mode and it's like, nah, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Focus on winning your home crowds. You know what I'm saying? Where you at? You feel me? Build it, building yeah. something that's small, bro. And like everything, like everything in life starts small and gets big. Plants, babies, like, you know what I'm saying? Animals. There's nothing in life. You never, you can never uh, build a building from midair, bro. It got to start at the bottom. You got to build a solid foundation. Bottom, yeah. yeah. And what happens even to me, bro, like, my nigga, like, I'm telling you, I didn't, I didn't got to situations where, and I, it got knocked back down because the foundation wasn't strong. You feel me? I felt like I found myself in the same places, building the same things because the foundation wasn't strong. You feel me? I tried to like skip levels. I tried to get too fancy. I tried to, you know what I'm saying? Like it was more, you know what I mean? I fell into the social media hole trying to look better than what it, you know what I'm saying? The, the service wasn't as good as it actually looked. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? People wasn't getting their orders and shit. And I had to really check myself. You feel me? I had to really check myself about that. You know what I mean? So, you know, like I said, I would just say sauce. Sometimes, bro, like the ba easiest thing you can do is get back to the basics. Get back to the back basics, to the bro. Basics, bro. Back to the basics, bro. I was doing all this crazy shit. You know what the number one selling thing for me was? The, the all black collection. I'm sitting here thinking all different shit, man. And all I did was put black on black. You feel me? Like the simplest shit. Motherfuckers, they went crazy, bro. I, bro, I literally got $15,000 in orders in one day off of this. You feel me? Off of, off, of, off of that, I didn't, I, my shit was, and then that's when I realized I was, I didn't, I didn't have that many boxes, I didn't, you know what I'm saying, like, I had calculated my shipping wrong, like, man, you feel me, just, that's what I'm saying, that's why it's important, like, to be able to get other money, you know, from other different avenues, so you ain't even playing with your own money, man, to where it's like, man, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, like, you feel me? I would like to play with some of that business credit. Yeah. You know, also, because I know that'll help. That would actually, um, that would actually stop the problem of not having the inventory. And I, I know that's a fact. I've, I've already um, been thinking about that. Hey, systems, uh, sis, I don't mean to cut you off, brother, but because I, I got I to gotta get off this car. So, but systems create money. This will, If I was you, systems. You ever seen, you ever seen a... Uh, Damn, um, the movie, the, it's the story of the McDonald's, the uh, fucking name yeah. of that movie. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, McDonald's created the best system. This is why companies to this day, every fast food restaurant uses this system. You get what I'm saying? You have to create a system, right. okay? You have my, my system is, so look at, I'm going to break this down for you, man. This is how this business works. It's design. It's production. You get what I'm saying? After production, you go... You know what? While while you're getting your things produced, you got your media that your your uh, your content you're creating, and that's for the purposes of of marketing, and marketing and sales. And then after that, you know, I mean, I mean uh, I'm sorry, all through that, you also you have your quality control. You feel me? Like you have to build this shit. Like you have to build. You have to reverse engineer it. You have to think about every corporation pretty much has the same structure, damn near. All right. You know what I'm saying? They got human resources. They got their legal department. You know, lost control or whatever. They got uh, um, they got their 